What's up guys, Zach man doing a quick video update. Uh, we're going to talk about Bitcoin today, real quick to kind of end the week. I found this article uh, late last night and just wanted to go through it. So um, basically it talks about Bitcoin will soon break record for its longest correction ever. Where will it go next? Because um, obviously everything kind of follows Bitcoin. It's kind of what I want to touch on it um, other than the TRX right now, uh, which is up just a slightly little bit. So it really hasn't changed too much today anyways, but uh like I said, everything kind of follows what Bitcoin does anyways. Bitcoin will go up. Obviously, everybody else will start to make a major bull run. So and I find this is kind of uh, very interesting and pretty accurate as far as that goes. But uh, basically, uh, it talks about Bitcoin to break the correction record in early February, possibly. And the reason why that is, if you look at this chart here, we're about to, on February 2nd, we are likely to break the record for the longest Bitcoin correction, which would be 410 days. Um, from November 2013 to the lowest price at January 2015. So that was back then, between 2013 and 2015. It was the longest uh, correction there. So obviously we're getting close to that again. And it kind of, um, there's another chart here which we'll look at. But uh, so if we follow that down, okay, and right here's the one I want to look at. You can kind of see how it kind of resembles a little bit. Um, as far as, you know, it has the up and then it kind of goes down. And then obviously again. We have the up and then it goes down and there's a little sideways action which is right there and then obviously it could be right here and then it'll go up again. So this is very, very important. Um, just, you know, the best way to look at history or to see where it's going to go is look at the past and look at the history of it. So I find this uh, very, very interesting as far as that goes just to see where we're going to go. So I thought this article was really good. Again, I'll leave a description and a link on it. But uh, like I said, we're approaching the 420-day mark, which... Uh, ended the uh, 2015. This is from the past. The future lies within the study of the past. So, um, the bear market in the history repeats itself. We're moving towards several months of accumulation and a new bull cycle starting mid to late 2019. So, it, it, the bull run is coming. It's just a matter of time. So, if we look at the chart, this is a 60 minute chart here. Um, obviously, we're in a little sideways action right now, but we have the dip here. We look goes up. Uh, my guess is, let's zoom out to the four hour chart here. And we'll kind of see what I'm talking about. Uh, a dip, dip. I know the ETF thing is a huge thing that's supposed to be coming, but obviously they have, since the shutdown's going on, it's probably not. But um, ah, come on, there we go. Uh, there's we got some support right here. Um, obviously we got some resistance. Uh, if we go to the day chart, we're gonna see things a little more clear. Uh, this is something I actually know we're gonna go to the week chart sorry this right here is yellow line so this is the bottom from way down here and it kind of follows up see how that goes that is a big support line so if we go back to the day we're pretty close to almost hitting that so i think we'll see another uh downtrend to that 3200 mark before uh it does break out um just because, like I said, it's going to want to test that, which we did come close to it back here in, that was back in December 18th, or set December 15th of 2018, sorry. Um, it'll probably bounce around there between the yellow and the black resistant line that I have set up on the chart here. Let's kind of zoom on over until we get to the, come on, oh, sorry, the computer's a little laggy, but until we get to here, um, somewhere in this between April Beginning of April to March, basically, is when we'll probably see a bigger takeoff if it follows the chart. Um, like I said, we have this support right here all the way from when Bitcoin pretty much started with that yellow line. And the black line is pretty much from almost from the very top. So we got to watch that. It's going to bounce around in this area, I believe. And then once it gets to here, it's either if it goes down, then we're pretty much uh, definitely going to be continuing to go down, which is unfortunate. But I believe it's going to go up. So... That's just a little my take on it. Um, like I said, I'll leave a link in the description that talks a little bit more. Uh, see if you guys do your own little reading on the article that I found. Otherwise, guys, have a great weekend, and we'll see you next week.